Hello everyone, welcome back to our chemistry class. So this is a video of chapter 3, periodic table. So periodic table have two subtopic and this is a video for classification of elements. So in this video, we will learn to describe period, group, and block, and then we will look at a few examples to deduce the position of elements in the periodic table from its electronic configuration. We will use electronic configuration a lot in this video, so make sure you really understand how to write the electronic configuration that you have learned in the previous video. So this is the periodic table of elements in which it contains all the non-chemical elements that are arranged in order of the number of protons. As you can see there, hydrogen with the number of proton 1, followed by helium 2, lithium 3, beryllium 4, boron 5, carbon 6, nitrogen 7, oxygen 8, fluorine 9, and neon 10, and so on and so on. So, all the elements in the periodic table is arranged in order of the number of proton. So, a periodic table is a table that arranges all the known elements in order of increasing of proton number. So, the vertical column of elements we call it as a group, while the horizontal row of elements is known as period. And the groups are numbered from 1 to 18. So, let's take a look one by one, period, block, and also group. So, period ini, kalau dalam bahasa Melayu dulu kamu belajar, dia adalah kala. So, di horizontal row, galis yang melintang itu kita panggil dia sebagai period. So, itu kita panggil period 1, period 2, period 3, period 4, period 5, period 6, and also period 7. So, there is a total of 7 periods in the periodic table. So, the elements in period are classified based on their highest principle, quantum number, N. So, mari kita tengok few example how we classify element in a period. So, we look at example 1, sodium 11. So, how can we classify? We look at the highest principle quantum number in the electronic configuration. So, we draw the border there. So, as we can see, the valence electron shell is 3s1. So, meaning to say, the highest principle quantum number n is equal to 3. Therefore, sodium is belong in period 3. Next, for fluorine, so kita draw border dulu. So, we can see there, the valence electron shell is 2s2, 2p5. Therefore, the highest principal quantum number is n equals to 2 and fluorine is belong in period 2. Next, let's take a look at the block. So, there is a total of 4 blocks in the periodic table which is s p d and f block okay we look at first the s block is in green color that i highlighted there that is called s block and then we look at the p block okay the p block is the one that i highlighted with the blue color there that is called the p block and then we look at the D block. So the D block is the one that I highlighted with the color pink. Okay, so that is the D block. And finally, the F block is the one that I highlighted with the green color. So that is the F 
block. So, elements in block are classified based on their valence electron configuration. Now let's take a look one by one of the block. So we take a look at X block first. So the filling of valence electron only involves S orbitals. So all S block elements have half filled S orbital or a fully filled S orbital in the outermost shell. And then the configuration of valence electron is NS1 to NS2. So for the first example, sodium 11. Sama juga macam tadi, kita draw border dulu. And then we know that the valence electron shell is 3S1. Yang mana 3S1 itu adalah half fill S orbital. So, sebab dia punya valence electron shell adalah 3S1, meaning to say, okay, sodium is located at the S block. Next, for example, two, we have calcium. So, sama juga kita draw border. So, when we draw the border, we know that the valence electron shell for calcium is 4S2, in which the 4S2 is the fully filled S orbital. So, mungkin ada yang tertanya-tanya, half fill dengan fully fill S orbital, macam mana dia punya rupa? So, itu adalah rupa untuk half fill S orbital, manakala yang itu adalah rupa untuk fully fill S orbital. So, because uh, the valence elect electron shell is 4S2, meaning to say calcium is belong to the S block. Now, let's take a look at P block where the configuration of valence electron is NS2 and P1 to NS2 and P6. So let's take a few example here. So we have aluminium 13. So we draw the border and we know that the valence electron shell is 3S2, 3P1. So when the valence electron shell is from NS2 to NP1, so meaning to say uh, aluminium is belong to the P block. Next for chlorine 17, sama juga kita draw dia punya border and we know that the valence electron shell is 3s2 3p5 okay so because the valence electron shell is 3s2 3p5 so chlorine is belong to the p block next for the d block the configuration of valence electron is ns2 and minus 1 d1 to ns2 and minus 1 d10 or n minus 1 d1 ns2 to n minus 1 d10 ns2 so it's a bit complicated but i will show you the easy way to determine whether the element is belong to the d block or not so let's take a look at example 1, vanadium 23. So as we look at the electronic configuration there, kita nampak dia punya highest principal quantum number sudah reaching n equals to 4. So the first step that you need to do is to rearrange the electronic configuration. So after you rearrange the electronic configuration, we draw the border there and as we can see, there is a border between the D and also the S orbital. Dalam erti kata lain, ada dahsyat di situ. So, meaning to say, bila ada dahsyat, vanadium is belong to the D block. Now, let's take a look at cobalt. So, as we can see there also, the highest principal quantum number is reaching N equals to 4. So, the first step that you need to do, you need to rearrange the electronic configuration first. And then after that, what you need to do is to draw or write the border between the principal quantum number. So, you can see there, there is dashat, ada dashat di situ. So, meaning to say, cobalt is belong to the D block also. And finally, for the F block, it involves the element in the series of lanthanides and also actinides, in which the filling of valence electron happens in the subshell of 4F and also 5F. 
So finally, let's take a look at a group in the periodic table. So actually, there is a total of 18 group in the periodic table from group 1 to group 18. So elements in the same group have the same number of valence electron. So let's take a look at a few examples regarding to the group. So let's take a look at sodium again. Okay. So for sodium, the first thing that you need to do is to draw the border. So when we draw the border, we can see that the valence electron shell is 3s1 in which the valence electron is equal to 1. So meaning to say sodium is belong in group 1. Next for calcium 20, sama juga kita draw border dulu. And as we can see there, the valence electron shell is equal to 4s2. Therefore, the valence electron is equal to 2 and calcium is located at group 2. For example 3, vanadium. So as we can see there, the highest principal quantum number is reaching 4. So the first thing that you need to do is to rearrange the electronic configuration. And then after that, uh, you need to draw the border. And then after you draw the border, you see there, the valence electron shell is 3D3 4S2. Okay, therefore the valence electron is equal 3 plus 2, 5 and vanadium is belong to group 5. Next for cobalt, as we can see there, the highest principal quantum number is 4. So the first thing that you need to do is to rearrange the electronic configuration. And then after that, you draw the border between the principal quantum number. And as you can see there, the valence electron shell is 3D7 for S2. Therefore, the valence electron is equal to 7 plus 2, 9. And cobalt is belong in group 9. Next, let's take a look at a special case for P block in which group is equal to the number of valence electron plus 10. So this is for P block only, special case for P block. So let's take a look at aluminium 13. So kita draw border dulu. So bila kita tengok sana, uh, dia punya valence electron shell adalah 3S2 3P1 meaning to say it belongs to the P block. So the valence electron is equal to 3, 2 plus 1. Therefore, the group for aluminium is 10 plus 3, which is aluminium belongs to group 13. Next, for chlorine, kita draw border juga. So as we can see there, the valence electron shell is 3s2, 3p5. It belongs to the p block. Therefore, the number of valence electron is 7 and chlorine is belong to group 17. As a conclusion, to determine the location of element in the periodic table, the first step that you need to do is write the electronic configuration. So if the electronic configuration involve 4s and 3d orbital, you must rearrange. And then the second one, you write the location of element based on the following order, P, B, G, Pub, G, in which P is for period, B is for block, and G is for group. And lastly, for P block, okay, for P block, you need to add 10 to determine the group of element. So that's all for this video. We will continue in the next video where we will discussing few examples regarding of the topic. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye and take care.